Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Dear students, welcome to the course of organic farming. So, organic farming is defined as a holistic agricultural process where we cannot use any synthetic insecticide, other pesticides, fertilizer and we have to depend on the different type of organic sources. We have to go for different type of crop rotation, intercropping, crop diversification, integrated farming system approach and different type of mechanical, biological and some other prospects of different type of organically controlling insect pest and other systems to make our organic farming a sustainable and profitable one. And if we have also learned what is the different type of compost, how to prepare a quality compost, what about the different types of materials which are restricted in use in organic farming and which are allowed to use in the organic farming. We have also known in the global how the organic farming is growing, what about the acres and production and which country ranks where in case of not only in the production but also the export. So, one of the major important thing of organic farming that is why the consumer is always preferable the organic produce is the better quality food. And besides the quality we have also know how to process this different type of products. Unless we can process different types of agricultural produce, maybe different type of spices or fruits we cannot sell in the international. We will basically know what is the different type of food quality by which organic produce is always called as a superior produce and why the consumer are preferring the organic produce as compared to the inorganic. Similarly, what is the different type of processing also whatever the different type of food safety regulation act in India by where organic farming should be done accordingly that only that we can sell our produce not only in the domestic but also in the international market. If we see what is the definition of the food quality. Food quality or meal quality is the quality characteristics of food that is acceptable to the consumer. This includes external factors such as appearance, it may be size, shape, color, gloss and consistency, also the texture and flavor and also factors such as federal gut standards may be an internal things like chemical, physical and microbial. Besides the ingredient quality there are also sanitation requirement and whatever the different type of pesticide is there, any residue is there, whatever the different type of nutrient and mineral composition is there, or maybe is there any heavy metal or not. And if India, the Food Safety and Standard Authority of India in short form it is called FSSAI is the apex food regulator. It is empowered by and function under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India. Just simply we have given one picture how the zinc deficiency is a global micronutrient deficiency in soil. Previously in many years back probably 30-40 years back there is not so much deficient soil in case of zinc or other the micronutrients. Because at that condition we are only growing one crop per year and we are using to or enough amount of organic manure may be FOIM, cow dung, sim manure, goat manure, horse manure and giving back to the soil. Over the intensification of agriculture we are growing to monotropping of culture, rice, sweet and sometimes we are taking two or three crops from a same piece of land. But we are not giving enough organic manure return to the field. We are giving only dependent on the major fertilizer like urea, phosphorus, we have the DAP, SSP or MOP. So what happened when you are growing two or three crops and that, that crops which are very high yielding or hybrid in nature, they take all these micronutrients from the soil but we are not giving back to the soil. So there is a deficiency of this micronutrient in the soil. So what is the impact? These all the micronutrients are not only helpful to maintain a good quality health of the plant but also they are necessary for human being. One is the example of the zinc and if we see zinc deficiency this is a global nutritional problem in human beings. It is not only for the plant, whole of our world if we see our zinc deficiency is high to moderate and if, case, if we see our condition of our India it is under high category. It means everywhere we are getting too much zinc deficiency and one thing is that our most of the population is dependent of this zinc and other every micronutrient for our staple crop rice and other crops. So whenever there will be some deficiency 
of these nutrients in our food product, definitely that deficiency will automatically come to the human being. And it has also come very much concern in case of very young child or infants. If you see in India, a report of the UNICEF that more than 62 million children under 5 are stunted growth in India. There is not only the quantity of food is important, we have gained the food security, we have produced more than 300 million ton of food grain. But besides the quantity of the food, it is also very much necessary to know what food we are consuming, how much quality it is. So, it is the right of the every citizen not only get the quantity food, but also the good quality food. So, what is the good quality feed in men? I will define in the next few of slides when we will tell it is a good quality food and which food is the balanced food and which is not up to the, that mark. See if you see there are several process of the food contamination. In the process when food farmers is growing is coming to the industry I and mean coming to the consumer levels, there are lots of process by the food can be contaminated. If you see this the human, we have lots of sometimes we are also query different type of organisms and all these organisms may become our fecal materials, saliva, mucus, fluid. Simply we have this all comes coronavirus, this is also may be transmitted by the human that also come to the food. So, whenever in this a corona situation we have, we have whenever purchases some vegetables may be food from the market, always what do? We do first the sanitization. So, but you, due to this corona situation they also learn, they also teach us how to treat our foods. But most of the foods which are too much pesticide loaded and came from the market, we forgot to wash it several times. Simply washing in a just tap water for 2 to 3 minutes, they reduce to 80 percent or 90 percent of the this type of pesticides. Similarly, soil, if there is, if our soil is being contaminated, if soil is very high in heavy metal, maybe in pesticide, automatically whatever the plants will grow on that, that new, that maybe whatever different type of pesticide or heavy metals will come to the plant and ultimately will come to the human being. Animals, in now a case not only we are giving too much feed to the animals, suppose we are going poultry birds and whatever the feed we are going giving if that is a very bad quality and they have had too much of pesticide residue of others, then definitely that also come to our human chain system because we are also consuming these meat products. Similarly, water, what is a very important thing and we have to always take care whatever the fertilizer, insecticide, pesticide we are using in agriculture that should not come to our drinking water. Because these are mostly soluble in water and wherever there is too much rainfall, all this washing out or extra runoff is going to the lake rivers and other water bodies and ultimately that enter in our drinking water and ultimately that come to the human body. One example is probably the nitrate toxicity, this nitrogenous fertilizer cause produce the nitrate that come to the water body and they cause some health hazards. Similarly, if you see the different type of equipment, that is why in our standard protocol when I do different types of organic farming and we go for third party certification, there is some standard rules. And we have to mention all the different types of things, what water as irrigation are using, whether our equipment has gone to some another fields, because these tractors or another farm implement, they also sometimes carry different types of these contaminants from other field. So, pesticide residue in field, this figure is comparison in the contamination of agricultural crops with pesticide residue in the USA, just I have given an example. If you see, Baker et al 2002 analyzed in USA the food and vegetables from the three type of production conventional, integrated and organic. And you see the pesticide ratio is very high in case of inorganic fertilizer in the convention. But whenever we go for integrated, so sometimes 50 percent we are use our organic source, 50 percent inorganic thing, there is reduction. And in case of organic, it has the lowest pesticide residue level. So, overall the presence of the pesticide residue in conventional farming is three times higher as compared to the organic. Similarly, we have also another study show that four times higher frequency of occurrence of pesticide residue in conventional crop. There are different type of crops, maybe fruits, maybe vegetable and if you see in case of fruits, our conventionally have 76 percent higher pesticide as compared to the organic only 11 percent. Similarly, in case of vegetable, it is 32 percent, while it is vegetable only 10 percent. So, all this has clearly indicated whenever we grow this type of crops under organic condition, the chances of pesticide residue will be low. That is why nowadays too much also consumer preference. People want to know 
which type of fruits have very less pesticide because health hazard is well known to the consumer. So, people want to buy this type of organic produce especially for the fruits and vegetables and they also ready to pay 20 percent, 30 percent, 50 percent, even 100 percent higher price in the market to purchase these organic products. So, nutritional value, of, what is the nutritional value? Nutritional value or nutritive value as part of the food quantity is the measure of a well balanced ratio of the essential nutrients, so whatever the different nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and micronutrients present in the food, carbohydrate, protein, fat, mineral and vitamin. Several nutritional rating system and nutrition facts level have been also implemented to rank food in terms of a nutritional value and there are lots of national and international standards and guidelines we have to follow. So, 10 reasons in this slide we, why we should go for the organic, first it is higher in nutrients. Similarly, free of neurotoxin, brain and body growth booster, no artificial color, inorganic farming artificial color is prevented, you cannot apply in your also in the process of processing product. Not exposed to the gas ripening, it states better, generally it is very tough to measure, but it is a qualitative test and people used to tell that organically produced food is tested better. Reduce your cancer risk, there is some literature is going on and they have told it is directly related to the pesticide. If pesticide is too much high, then definitely there will be more cancer ring. Sometime also it is advocated to use that is why integrated pest management, but due to the unscientific use of different type of pesticide and immediately after application of the pesticide, sometimes farmers or some people may want to sell their market within one to two days. So, that is not advisable also under the IPM, but due to this malpractices, lots of pesticide is come to the our food chain. Similarly, no less exposure to antibiotics, everywhere we are growing the chicken, we have poultry, lots of antibiotic use. This antibiotic also coming to our human body and there may be antibiotic resistance, similarly taste and other things. So, nutritional quality can be assessed through primary essential nutrient you can work, water, fiber, protein, fat, carbohydrate and mineral. The secondary metabolites are phytonutrients, they are also important. The secondary metabolites are also important for the plant for the defense mechanism. They also help us to enhance the defense mechanisms of the human and enhances our immunity. If in the corona case everyone people want to search for organic, this is turmeric powder because it is believed to help to enhance the immunity of a person. Similarly, secondary metabolites also very much they have role for their antioxidant activities and anti carcinogenic that is anti cancerous protective properties. So, carotenoids are another group of secondary metabolites which give good health properties and this always we have to think care of nature and organic produce is always preferable in the market for the consumers due to not only the content of the protein fiber due to the presence of this different type of antioxidant activities, anti carcinogenic properties and immunity build up properties. So, what is the harmful effects of nitrate in water? If you see in this picture, generally in case of nitrate content in conventionally grown crop and our organic crop, very much reduction. It is also same for our carrot, parsley and red cabbage. So, everywhere nitrate, population, nitrate concentration is low. These net effect when too much nitrogen fertilizer is applied and there will be this nitrogen mixing to the water bodies, the nitrate level immediately in the water may enhance and they may health hazards, they has the humans producing methanoglobin anemia. So, there will be problem of the oxygen suppression, oxygen carrying by the hemoglobin and due to the this oxygen less carrying capacity sometimes they called the problem some disease in case of very little infant that is called blue baby syndrome. So, similarly the risk is particularly high with the infant, generally leafy vegetables which are very much prefer for our everyday human because leafy vegetable are very much nutritious and always we try to eat this type of leafy vegetable so that our digestive system will function well and that is why all these leafy vegetable we have seen they are accumulate highest amount of nitrate in their feed. So, ultimately if the water we are using or soil has the very high nitrate, this nitrate will come also to the plants products and ultimately when we are consuming this harmful product also again come to our human body. So, if you see one lecture also what is the nitrate concentration in case of different type of lettuce, celery, cabbage, in everywhere when you are go for conventional for organic, the concentration is decreasing. Similarly, the nitrate level also tested in different other crops and we have seen whenever we grow different type of other crops and what is the nitrate level, it is simply highest we are getting the root and tuber crops, whatever in case of fruits, vegetable and fruits, it is little bit lower. So, however, we have take foods in nitrate higher area, 
we need a particular area that nitrate level probably high. So, we have to also choose which type of crops we should eat in this area, so that less nitrate pollutant should enter in my body. So, this is a report, a classical report from types of India, Bangalore, it is just 7 years old in 2013. And they have done different type of studies and also literature, what is the available in the domain and they have seen, there is pesticide safe residue limit. It is mean, if there is certain up to certain part if the pesticide is there, that is not a problem. But when the pesticide is present in this food beyond that capacity, that is definitely a problem for our health. And if you see whatever the content, this is if you see this is the orange color, it means content how much and it is the 86 above parcel legal limit if you see. So, in case of we have seen brinjal. 860 percent above. So, 860 percent higher amount of this pesticide mainly hepatochlor is present against the whatever the highest permissible limit. Similarly, cypermethrin in case of cabbage 95.5 percent, okra it is also severely 50 percent above the diets and in case of rice also we are getting different type of pesticide different levels. So, especially when we have seen more this type of pesticide problem in the peri-urban areas, where there are lots of contaminations coming and due to the easy phase of the market, sometimes people are using, because everywhere when we are growing two, three, many type of crops and also we are growing of the season cultivation, we are going nowadays cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli in the summer season also. So, when you will grow this type of crop out of the season, not in the winter season, the insect pest and disease will be high. So, to control this, we are applying too much of pesticide and sometimes if we are not allowing to stay the pesticide or that crop in the field 10 to 15 days, so that pesticide residue will be down, immediately after 1 to 2 days, we are selling the market. So, that pesticide again then come to our human body. So, now what is the overall quality assessment of organic farming? So, we have done some marker. If it is given plus size, one organic farming marks better. It is only one plus, it is better. In case of negative, it is worse. And if we see in most of the parameter, if you see for the parameters, we are nitrate leaching and pesticide, it is always going organic farming doing very well. Also, the greenhouse gas emission very well because they are reducing the greenhouse gas emission as compared to the nitrate fertilizer. Also, they may be released some amount of more carbon dioxide, but nitrous oxide have a global warming potential of more than 310. So, if one unit nitrous oxide is equivalent to more than 300 unit of carbon dioxide. So, ultimately total the global warming effect or greenhouse effect in case of nitrogenous fertilizer are higher as compared to our organic manure. Similarly, if you see our energy per use and other things and nitrous oxide quality is very much pesticide receive is very less that is why always farmers prefer organic food. So, there is no doubt organic food is our quality will be superiorly better and how we can manage in our organic farm, how we can go for the different type of processes, how we can go for the certification, how we can go for packaging up only that how much premium price a farmer will get depends. So, food quality and organic. Public concern about food quality has intensified in recent years. If you go back to 20 or 30 years, probably people is not talking about too much organic. But everywhere you go now, people want some organic food. Because human nutrition, people has lots of consumer awareness has been done. And they have seen what were the different type of bad effects of different type of pesticides. That is why consumer awareness came. Genetically modified crops. Generally, for case of India, this JMO only has applied in the case of Bt cotton. But Bt cotton is not a food product. And for the other crops, this GM has not been permitted yet. So, in this condition, the gene of some soil bacteria, maybe Bacillus thuringiensis, has incorporated through the genetical engineering in the crop, so that they will produce some type of chemicals which are toxic to the insect. And there are lots of debates whether GM is going good or bad, I am not going to that. But it is one to say under the organic farming, the GM crop is prohibited, you cannot use the GM seeds. So, against the demand of organically grown food has grown rapidly. A significant proportion of organic consumers believe that organic food is qualitatively better than non-organic, giving it tastes better and it is better for you as the most common reason for purchasing it. That is why the consumer, the people, not only very high class people, even middle class people are also want to give 20 percent, 30 percent, 50 percent higher price for organic fruits and vegetables. So, high microbial activity levels in organically managed soils have been reported to increase the concentration of secondary metabolites. And it is also proven that organic products had higher antioxidant activity, 
contain higher concentration of a different type of antioxidants, phenolics, plant secondary metabolites, they reduce the risk of chronic diseases, neurodegenerative diseases, cancers and 75 percent lower concentration of the agrochemical residue and also they are also reducing the amount of different type of heavy metals especially for the cadmium. And we have when we compared different type of secondary metabolites, maybe flavonoid, anthocyanin, and other things, our the continuous experiment 6 years, 7 years, 10 years of a particular species. So, all these secondary metabolites are found to be in higher con concentration as organic union as compared to the inorganic union only grown. So, if you see how the overall consumer perception in organic food, perception is very much needed for your purchase. What you perceive, whether this brand I will purchase or this brand will purchase, I will eat chips, I will eat the fast food or I will not eat, everything depends on the perception. And more, whenever the different type of this type of analysis has been done, a sample study has been done, lots of people and it has been showed, food safety is very important point people are taking nowadays, that is why they want to purchase organic fruits. But the highest rank they have given for the nutrition, because they have shown or they know, they thought that organically produced crop is giving the higher nutrition as compared to the inorganic or where fertilizer or pesticide is applying. Similarly, sensory organ, they are telling organic food taste better. So, this is the different type of indicator how a consumer is preferring, but as compared to the eco environmental friendly or overall consumer perception, highest is go for the nutrition and the sensory taste of the consumers. And it is different study is why Baranski at all 2014 they have done that up to 69 percent higher concentration of polyphenols in organic fruits and vegetables. This polyphenols is very much important, they have very much health benefit also. And if we see, they are also helping for the different type of restriction of the cardiovascular disease, neuroprotective, anti-aging properties they have, they have anti-cancerous properties and they have the also anti-inflammatory properties. So, we have seen by the different types of when we organic farming is promoted, these all things came into the mind of a consumer. Only they will want to pay the higher premium price because every know health is the well. So, nowadays people want to take so that whatever the disease will come and I will directly go to the doctor. So, prevention is always better than cure and that prevention is only possible when we taking very good quality, nutritive and also the balanced type of diet. A one experiment in the ICAR research complex for northeastern hill region Meghalaya has been done and that result has been published in a very good paper we have seen that we have done tomato and the same tomato we have grown under different management practices. One we have grown under control so that we have not used any FOM fertilizer, one is 100 percent organic, one is inorganic 100 percent we have given only the fertilizer and the fourth YOLO is the integrated where we have applied 50 percent organic and 50 percent inorganic. And you will be very happy to know whenever we are organizing different time what is the quality parameters in tomato. One may be the ascorbic acid, the highest ascorbic acid we are getting in organic followed by the inorganic. In case of while if you go the lycopene content also the highest organic or highest content is covered also under our organic. Similarly, our total soluble solid it also comes under the organic. So, it clearly shows Tomato fruits under organic farming exhibited superior quality in terms of most of the biochemical properties including total soluble solids, ascorbic acid, total reducing sugar and the lycopene content. Similarly, we have done same type of experiment for different crop that is carrot. Carrot is very much preferred in organic farming and in the market carrot has always very high value 60 to 80 rupees per kilo. So, farmers want to grow this carrot crop under organic condition to get some premium produce and carrot is also very less attacked by different type of insect pest. That is why it is, is a choice crop under organic farming. And if you see whatever the we are going on our organic, in case of our organic the total carotenoid is significantly higher as compared to the organic. Similarly, the ascorbic acid is also little bit higher as compared to the carrots. So, these different type of literature shows that not only the sensory or taste perception is there, but different type of quality parameters, phytochemicals, ascorbic acid, beta carotene, lycopene content this proportion is relatively higher as in our organic farming. And up to 69 percent higher concentration of the polyphenol organic fruits and vegetable. Similarly, when we have gained quality of the organic versus while with the conventional plant produce. So, this is a simple chart because demand for organically produced food is still growing and growing rate is very high more than 20 percent, 25 percent per year. So, probably in 2004 in India, we have a very less area of organic farming. 
but nowadays our area has been increased tremendously and we are selling more than 1000 1000 crores in the national and international market for this organic produce and most of the if you have seen or what the minerals is present in the uh, maybe calcium magnesium potassium sodium manganese iron in most of the crop it's maybe sap beans cabbage lettuce tomato spinach everything is higher as in compared to the organic similarly for cabbage also this all this mineral content is significantly higher under organic as compared to the conventional system so not only the different secondary metabolites and other things or our heavy metal is less or pesticide residue is less the organic farming also promote because in organic farming always we want to use different type of organic manures and this organic manures is source of different type of minerals and also the micronutrients so they ultimately come to the plant and ultimately reach to the human body so if you they one other another experiment has been done to know the comparison of the carotenoid content in organically versus conventionally grow paper so paper is also a very important cob under organic farming and we see everywhere if you see the lycopene content beta carotene content and also the lutein content everywhere we have seen it is significantly higher under organic similarly the polyphenol content also we have seen all everywhere the concentration of this different type of organism made with secondary metabolites are higher in case of organic farming as compared to our inorganic ones vitamin c vitamin c is very much important very much it is auto immunity booster and it is used vitamin c to help to fight different types of germs and also the people who have some problems with cold and fever and some other problems vitamin c is very much important that's why sometimes we are also advocating the use because vitamin c always whenever we cook in a very high temperature our vitamin c become degraded so always we, we want to know where the vitamin source c is high where we can use a raw food and if you see under the different experiment has been done and most of the experiment has been done over the spinach celery white cabbage lettuce leek tomato paper apple orange and what we have found in all these crops our vitamin c content is significantly higher in organic as compared to our inorganic farming so it is proven our organically produced fruit contain more amount of vitamin c as compared to our conventionally grown crops and this vitamin c has a very important role in our human body for our defense mechanism and others and this is the some positive value organic crops contain few one nitrates fewer pesticide organic plant produce contain vitamin c phenolic compound essential amino acid organic also for the better sensory quality because people want people are telling this organic produce has always better taste similarly vegetable and fruits have better quality for the storage so they are not easily if you go too much nitrogen fertilizer whenever the take the produce provisionally tomato it can stay only 5 to 6 days but in case of a organically produced tomato can we can store for 7 to 8 days so storability is also very much important when we want to sell this produce in a longer or very high distance market but some negative point is also there people are claiming that in organic system has a rule 20% lower but it is not everywhere true whenever you can manage your crop that is depend on soil to soil how what is the soil condition how much organic manure you have given while you are scientifically adopt practices or not organic carbon content is not or not so whenever we grow this type of things we have seen there may be yield reduction 20 to 25% 15% of different type of crops when you convert from inorganic to organic but this is only for the conversion period after 3 or 4 or 5 years when the soil fertility has been improved to a certain level when it can supply most of the nutrients to the crop then the yield will come at par and there are probably some yield loss for some crops so you have to it is not advocated every time organic should go for the throughout india or all the crops similarly this is tell the increase their price and many consumers to buying foods but even we have seen this when that's why organic farming is promoted for maybe high value crops and organic farming is also value is populated in the area for certain hill region of the northeastern part of india where farmers are using already very less amount of fertilizer so if our farmers are using very less amount of fertilizer and pesticide it is very easy to convert to them scientific organic manager practices with the certification process and there will be no chance of yield reduction so by this process whatever the this significant 20% yield level we can scientifically manage and we can produce superior quality field without giving any yield penalty so now i will discuss 
what about the different factors which influence the quality of the organic food products? Because this organic produce is only getting higher premium price due to their superior quality. There are lots of nutrients and micronutrients. There may be organoleptic higher consumer preferences there. There is very less amount of different type of toxic pesticide residue or heavy metal. So, organic farming our nutritional or this food quality is of paramount importance. And what about the different factors which directly or indirectly are affecting the quality of the food? One is the abiotic factor is the environment. So, there is lots of environmental factor is there like air, water, soil, climate and weather. If there is too much flooding or there is too much drought, if there is too much contaminated soil is there and we are growing the crops, so definitely our quality will not be good. Similarly, if the water we are using for our irrigation purpose is too much pesticide residue loaded or may be contaminated with heavy metals and other things. This all these heavy metal will come into the food and ultimately enter to our food chain system. Similarly, whatever the climate and weather different type, they also sometimes roll whether there will be quality, it will be too much moisture in the fruit or less moisture or while there will be, in, they also indirectly monitor the different type of insect pest and disease attack. Similarly, the cultivars. So, definitely in organic farming, we have to promote this type of cultivar which have very less insect and pest attack. If there are certain type of resistance to different type of insect, pest and diseases, then the chance of getting superior quality feed will be high. Otherwise, in organic farming, we cannot use in insecticide and others. So, we have to always this type of things into our mind. Similarly, if you see regulation of organic plant production. In organic production system, whenever we go for the certification, all the different type of standard protocol is given and we have to follow these standard protocols. And we have to, if we follow all the standard protocols, then only we get the certification and we sell our produce in the market, maybe in the domestic or in the out of the country. So, there is also regulation of the animal production. Animal is very important part of this organic farming system. Every time we cannot purchase our compost, vermicompost and other things cow dung from the market. So, always it is advisable for a small and marginal farmers or the resource poor farmers to keep some animal within his own farm. But for that animal which type of medicine is allowed or restricted we have to take care and what type of feed we are giving that is really organic or not. So, by taking all these taking cares of the and scientifically management of organic not only for the crop and also for the animal we can make a very good organic sustainable farm. So, ultimately this is the different factors which impact the quality of the process organic products. And also in that regulation of food processing whatever we are producing probably we cannot direct sell in the market. Sometimes we are producing different types of suppose we have the turmeric, so we make turmeric powder. So, in the processing process also we have to maintain the standard pro regulation process. Otherwise, in the time of processing or post harvesting management there may be some contamination or there may be some other process which is not allowed in the organic farming. So, a farmers or entrepreneurs always have to take care of the food processing. Similarly, the efficiency what is the certification system and control how much is going to be added, where the farmers has been effectively implemented all this protocol has been not ultimately that will depend and that will impact the quality of the produce. So, if you just one slide you say on average 40 percent less cadmium in organically grown crops, cadmium is a heavy metal and it is a very high health hazards. So, always in our organic farming we should promote whenever we grow in the soil whether sewage sludge using or not, whatever this soil whatever the different type of contamination source of this heavy metal we have to take care of. Because this heavy metal whenever we apply too much phosphorus fertilizer you see we may be say use in DSP other in the sometime in the process of this phosphorus fertilizer sometime cadmium is calm. This cadmium is come to with the fertilizer and ultimately this is the cardium in conventional farming. This is also have anti corrosing agent and different type of color in the processing method or packaging method some color PVC product and ultimately it is the highly toxic and it is persistent in nature. So, that is why organically food is being preferred as a source of very less amount of cadmium as compared to the conventionally grown crops. So, whenever we are not only producing the different type of crops under organic. Nowadays, if you see the global trend or market for the dairy products, the demand is more for organic. For meat, maybe for milk, maybe for egg and these are very high cost. So, always a farmers also want to do this type of organic farming where we will get better price. So, if we just compare the organic 
and our conventional system for this meat and dairy we have seen. In case of conventional system, too much given antibiotic hormone and free grown with pesticide is given. However, in case of organic, no antibiotic hormone or pesticides are given, so quality is always better. Livestock are also given organic food. Disease is prevented with natural methods, but sometimes inorganic farming vaccination is allowed, but there is also some protocol what you can use and what you cannot use. So, and if you see antibiotic and medication are used to prevent livestock disease, a livestock may or may not have access to the outdoors. Sometimes most of the time we are confining the animal within a single house. So, but when an animal is allowed to graze in the outside for grass, so definitely the quality of the milk will be affected. Composition of milk also depends on the cell different other factors, size, different the genetic factors also we are using. What about the species of the cow you are using? What is the breeds and it also the individual level? Generally, most of the our indigenous or desi cow we have seen their milk it is little bit low, but their milk is supposed to have very high quality ingredients and also they are concentrated as compared to the our cup of the exotic because whenever we grow some exotic type of crop or any breeds for especially for the cattle in our system probably they does not suit well. Sometimes then when the yield is too much high, so there will be whatever the different type of nutrients is available or minerals that is become diluted. So, it is also known in our organic farming whenever we are promoting this type of desi or indigenous cow, their cow dung has some better quality of some microbes as compared to the our this exotic breeds. Similarly, different types of physiological factor is also important, age of the animal definitely and stage of the lactating. So, all the milk a may be when a cow is giving his first cow, uh, bath or he is giving the second bath or third bath or fifth bath, all the milk will not be same. Similarly, the stage of lactating, immediately after the birthing, there may be milk quality is little bit different as compared to the after 3 or 4 months. Different the other factors is very much important the climate, what is the temperature, what is the rainfall and how much the uh, where the you breed is taking from the outside and to our India whether climatic suitability or not. Similarly, the feeding is the most important factor whether we are providing too much roughage, whether we are providing too much grasses, whether we are giving some contaminated food, we are giving the organic food, so and also method of milking. So, we have also done the meta analysis, Sandika Tobar et al 2016 a meta analysis of the dairy and milk under organic farming versus the conventional. And they have reported that on an average the organic milk contains 50 percent more N3 that is omega fatty acid, 40 percent more conjugated linoleic acid, more iron, vitamin C, carotenoid, however they have 76 percent less iodine. So, this is the things whatever the organic farming we should need. Generally for a small and marginal farmer, we are advocating to go for some indigenous cow because also maybe the meal production is less, but they need our feed requirement will be also less. Because in organic totally or if you want to sell your organic meal, every time you cannot purchase feed product from the outside which is not organic in nature. So, if you have some indigenous cow with the we can manage within your own farm resources and you can produce different type of organic foods within your own farm and that quantity may be sufficient to grow for indigenous crop, but probably that may not be sufficient to raise a exotic breed for which high amount of feed is necessary. So, this is the different type of omega 3 fatty acid or polyunsaturated fatty acids are characterized by the presence of a double bond three atoms away from the terminal methyl group. So, they are always we are used to tell this type of fatty acid are healthy in nature. Similarly, meat industry has also very much demand for the organically produced meat. And if you see our experiment have different types of tail that organic meat means there should be no antibiotic because everywhere we have go for the poultry industry, especially for the boiler industry too much antibiotic is given. And this intimatic when entered to the chickens that also come to the human body. So, no antibiotic synthetic growth hormones, GMO or pesticide is allowed. The health and natural behavior of animals are prioritized. All livestock feed must be 100 percent organically produced. Cattle are pasture raised and grazed through the grazing season. Organic meat farmers use holistic preventive health care practices and organic meat production helps to protect the environment. So, this is the some criteria whenever we also go for the livestock sector under organic farming. So, if we see what is the beneficial composition of fatty acid on organic meat, it is always tell that organic meat, organic meal is comparatively superior or better nutritive quality as compared to the our traditionally grown milk or meat. And if you see these have the less saturated fatty acid, 
they have higher content of polyunsaturated fatty acids. Plus 23 percent if you see polyunsaturated fatty acids is the PUFA and this is a very good factor and we are always promoting to use polyunsaturated fatty acid for our human diet. Similarly, they also have the omega 3 fatty acid. It is also very much helpful. Always we want to give different type of feces, maybe salmon and other things, they are very high rich in omega fatty acid. So, this is the organic meat, if they also have the high quantity of the omega 3 fatty acids, then our that is why consumer always preferring this organic meat, even if we getting some extra fries. So, there is something meat on organic farming and there is the some reality. Now, I want to tell what about the meat and what is reality. If you see in the first point, organic foods are no longer healthier than non-organic foods. It is not. I have over the slides, I have proven that not only the different type of minerals, maybe your content of the fatty acid, maybe different type of also different organ, whatever the different type of constituents of our food and maybe heavy metal will be less and all others the maybe less antibiotic, less pesticide and also whenever sui, whenever we breathe this organically crop not only this residue and whatever the heavy metals are reduced in case of organic farming, but we have also seen different types of secondary metabolites and also there is the antioxidant activity of this foods a little bit higher. So, it is true that organically produced crop are superior in nutritional quality as compared to the traditionally inorganically grown crops. Similarly, second point is organic farming increases the root of food poisoning is absolutely false. Organic farming uses pesticide damage the environment. Organic farming use only different type of pesticide which are very eco friendly in nature. We are always using different type of plant based product, maybe neem oil. We are also using different type of microbes which are very existing within the environment or they are not causing any human health hazard or the atmosphere. So, they are always they are not damaging the environment. Instead, we are advocating in the organic farming for crop rotation legume incorporation, crop diversification in farming system approach. So, always there is ecosystem enhancement, there is always the environment will be healthier under organic farming. Consumers are paying too much organic food, generally in case of it is little bit to the 30 to 40 percent we have to pay extra price, but for getting a very good quality price you have to give this much of amount. If you see we are also promoting different type of crop rotation, organic animal feed, oil feed standards the use of good husbandry and non-organic food appears to be cheaper, but one thing we have to see in case of organic farming, whatever the other also plays role, ecosystem is going to be better, soil is become healthier and also generally sometimes due to the some conversion period yield may be 15 to 20 percent lower. So, at that condition when yield is little bit lower probably some premium price is needed, but if we manage our organic farm in a very well, so after the conversion period with the adoption of scientific package of practices organic farming, we can get at per yield. So, in that condition a farmers make maximum profit by producing more food and get the premium price from the market. So, processing is also very much important. Nowadays, I have already discussed what is the different types of growing method of organic method and how we can go grow a superior quality food under organic and how we have to maintain the organic quality, what is the different types of certification and processing we have already discussed. So, the uh, while growing any particular crop or any we are rearing any livestock for the milk, meat and other purpose, it is not the only source of the contamination. In the time of food processing is also very much needed. Every time farmers suppose we cannot sell some produce in the market, but we put you the value addition has been done, processing has been run, we can increase the price, a farmers can get a better profit. So, that is why food processing and post harvest technology of organically food and produce always should be promoted. But if we see processing itself is the phase of transformation of change of the food ingredients by means of subactive principle. Organic food be must be processed in an operation that has been certified to organic standards with special tapes taken to make sure the organic ingredients are not commingled or contaminated. So, there may be certain chance of also contamination in the type of processing. So, while we are food processing has been done, we have to up, uh, take due care so that there should not be any contamination in our organic produce. Any handling or processing of organic products should be optimized. So, how is organic food process? If you see they are minimally processed. So, if the process will be high there may be chance of contamination will be more. They are minimally processed to maintain the integrity of the product. They follow strict legal restriction 
which ever the materials are allowed and which are not we cannot use. So, that this is the main four factors is also important. We cannot have use any GMO that is genetically modify, modified organisms, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, no artificial preservative. And most of the time if you go for some drinking things and ready to eat cooks products we will see lot of preservatives is there, lot of artificial flavor and color is there. But as in the process of organic food, this artificial flavor, color or the preservative is not permitted. So, definitely the quality of this organically packaged processed food will be far, far better as compared to our traditional methods. Now, what is the recommendation and what is the standard? Processing and handling of organic products should be done separately. Pollution cells should be identified and contamination should be avoided and flavoring extracts shall be obtained from the food and preferably by organic. While standards also tell organic products shall be protected, all products should be adequately identified through the whole process, organic and non-organic products. Suppose we are going in the same phase, some organic produce is there, they should not be stored also in the same time, they cannot be transported together except when labels are physically separated. So, we have to take care of these type of things very carefully. Certification program shall regulate by the means. So, certification is not only they are telling the rule follow only for the producing of the crop, but certification is also needed, certification is also telling us what about the standard protocol we have to follow for in the food processing type, what in the post harvesting type, so that only we can get the certification and logo after that we can sell in the national or international market. So, besides storage and ambient storage, the following special condition storage is permitted. We can use controlled atmosphere, we can dump the cooling because definitely in the process of cooling there is no chance of any contaminants and other things. Freezing can be allowed, drying is allowed, humidity is allowed, but ethylene gas is permitted for ripening because the ethylene gas also we are producing this ethylene gas is not directly entering within the food body and every food also have ethylene in his own. That is why ethylene is permitted under organic farming. What about the different type of ingredients, additives and processing aids? If you general principle, 100 percent of the ingredient in agriculture should be organic. Suppose we are making pickles, we have a lots of mango, we have grown the mango organically. Now we want to sell because this mango, green mango we cannot store for a longer period, but we have a enough produce to how to sell in the market. We want to produce mango pickles, but for that we need oil we need to be little bit of different types of spices and whenever we growing this type of speckle and other things, not only the mango which we are producing organically, we also need different types of spices and oil we are using for this mango pickle that should be also organic in nature. Then only our final product we can tell this is a organic mango pickle. What is the recommendation? For the production of enzymes and other microbiological products, the medium shall be composed of organic ingredients. The certificate pregnant also takes to consideration the maintenance of the nutritive value and the existence or possibility of producing of the similar products. So, in cases where an ingredient or organic agriculture origin support everywhere, we cannot get everything from the organic sources. So, what is the different type of process where we can use? In that condition, what to do? When the organic ingredient is not available in sufficient quality or quantity, the certification program may authorize use of non-organic raw materials subject to the period of revaluation. So, if there is nothing available in the market or availability is very low, generally this type of organic farming in our PGS and other standard, sometimes organically produced seed is not available. But what to do? Some seeds because seeds we are using in a very minute quantity. So, there is a chance of this pesticide or insecticide coming to the field is very less, but that should not be chemically treated. It means chemically untreated any seeds is allowed in the organic farming, that is the restricted use. Similarly, the same ingredient with one product shall not be derived both from organic and non-organic region. Water and salt may be used in organic products, because salt generally it is simply drying process in the river, in the seabed and other process. But that salt and water, suppose you also need what salt to produce the mango pickle and this salt also need not be the organic cells, it is allowed to use. Similarly, different type of vitamins, but isolated ingredients will not be used. The certification program may grant exception where use is legally required and where severe dietary or nutritional deficiency can be demonstrated. Preparation of microorganisms and enzymes 
commonly used is food processing may be used with the exception of genetically engineered microorganisms. Again, the genetically GMOs is not allowed in also in the process of the food processing or pot harvest handling. The use of additives and processing aids shall be restricted. So, I have already told no artificial preservative, no artificial flavoring or coloring agents. So, there is a different type of processing methods is there for any organic produce whenever you want to sell in the market. So, there may be mechanical and physical, there may be filtration, there may be extraction method and there may be precipitation method, there may be biological and so also there may be some smoking. This is the different type of processing of any product, may be meat product or fish product and they are used also in the organic farming. So, extractions and only take place with water, ethanol, plant and animal oils, vinegar, carbon dioxide, nitrogen. This is the all allowed factors which we can go for the food processing in case of organic farming. Irradiation is not allowed. Radiation is a major source of killing lots of insect pests and other microorganisms organisms in the food, but in organic farming it is not allowed. Filtration substances cannot be made of asbestos because asbestos has a very high health hazard. So, that should not be we are promoting not promoting in the organic farming. So, process product from turmeric I just want to give an example. This northeastern part of India has producing a huge amount of turmeric. The turmeric is of the very best quality. Curcumin content is also very high as compared to the others, but every time we cannot sell, if we sell what is our share of the turmeric in case of global trade is very less. So, how to do? In that condition, we can convert this turmeric to a oil quality, very good turmeric powder, then only we sell. So, what is the, we can also produce different turmeric oil, we can also the include the turmeric oleuresin because they contain 7 to 14 percent oleuresin. So, that we can extract and sell in the international market and earn huge money for the farmers. Also curcumin, this is a very important thing I have already told the present in the this turmeric powder and it is preferred as an industry, also natural colorant in various field catering, confectionery and pharmaceutical products, they also help the immunity of the humans being. So, always boiling is allowed in organic farming, is simple examination when you want to maximum conserve the curcumin content, we are not directly slicing the turmeric and drying and going for the grinding. It is always being advocated to first you make some boiling water and you boil this uh, rhizome of the turmeric after cutting and slicing for particular period and after that, but you have to take, you should not go for over boiling, you should not go also for the under boiling. And after that you see, we are making in the sun dried. So, there is no chemical process involved in any of the process. It is all naturally everything has been done under organically. So, after the siamese process, they are reducing their amount. It may take 15 to 20 days for the drying. Artificial drying also take hot air oven and the yield of the rhizome may be 18 to 20 percent. So, suppose if there is 100 kilo of turmeric rhizome is there and after boiling and drying, it will reach up to 18 to 20 kilo. After that, we should grow in the grinding machine. This grinding machine also there is no chemical extracting is used, only by grinding with the pressure we are using the turmeric powder. So, by this way, we can also produce different type of organically by post harvest technology, we can simply enhance the value and enhance the storability of this produce, so that we can sell in the distant market. So, process product for turmeric you see different type of, now Tata company is also coming and different helps the farmers you would get turmeric powder, Tata shampoo, turmeric oils is also purchased, this turmeric also FN mycid, both turmeric uh, oil is even getting, turmeric oleuresin also we are getting, curcumin we are getting and ultimately they will help to enhance the farmers capability to farmers income there will be enhancement and there is very much necessary of food processing and other things. Packaging also equally important because until you package, because you got the certification, you got the logo, but you have to pack it in a very well manner, then only you can sell in the market. Because any consumer, when go to the market or purchase any things, while ever thinking what is the packaging. The packaging should maintain all the different things, what is the certification logo, date of manufacture, date of expiry, where it is produced, whether it is produced organically or inorganically, whether what is the different type of nutritional benefits is there, that should be written. And in this packaging process, you cannot also use different type of inorganic materials. Suppose ecologically side material should be used, packaging material that affect the organic nature should not be used, use of PVC material is prohibited, aluminum should be avoided and recycling and reusable should be used, biodegradable packaging nowadays also available. So, by this process you can sell your market, so that whenever packaging will good, you will get some brand value, only that you will get some higher premium price. 
Similarly, when you are storing in some container and transporting in a ship and other things, you have to take in certain precaution. Product integrity should be maintained. Organic product must be protected all times from mixing with the other organic products. They must be protected all times with contact. While only part of the unit is certified and other products are non-organic, the organic products should be stored and handled separately. So, you cannot mix. So, always people is thinking if there is a mixing in this process, probably you are 100 kilo of organic turmeric and maybe 10 kilo or non-organic. So, their chunks may be mixing. So, that is why there is clear guideline should be followed only then we will sell in the organic market, maybe in the domestic or in the international market. So, what about the different type of regulation? Our regulation is the food product and strainer and food additives regulation of 2011. This is very much important regulation for defining different type of the quality assurance in case of India. It covers products, dairy product, fat, oil, fruit, vegetable, cereal, meat, fish, sweet, salt, spices, beverages, all of the food products everywhere using this all under count to the, under this FSS regulation. And there is different type of safety standards is available. FSS Contamination Toxin and Residue Act that is in 2011 is also very much important. There is always something maximum residue limit or maximum remits of chemical contamination. So, everywhere there is a chance of contamination, there may be some residue, so, but there is always level. This is FSS level is clearly contained, this much amount of this heavy metal is permitted, this much amount of this some chemicals is permitted. Whenever the concentration of this type of different type of chemicals or heavy metals reach above the beyond point, then it is not allowed. So, there is different type of prohibition is also there, sale of certain admixture is provided, milk containing added water, skim milk, dependently bonus prati to other substance added, turmeric containing any foreign substance, dahi or curd not prepared from the boil. So, also there is too much this type of process. And for the FSS food security standard, Organic Regulation Act is 2017 is very much important. The section 22 of the Food Security Standard Act 2006 has the provision to regulate manufacture, distribute, sell or import the organic food. So, this is very much important this regulation whenever we go for some organic marketing. And this food safety and standard regulation 2017 based on two system of certification. One is national program of organic certification that is NPOP standard or third party certification where you can sell your produce in the international market. And second is the participatory guarantee seems certification that is PGS certification. This certification you cannot sell your market outside India, but within the different domestic market you can sell your produce. And all the organic food business operators required to comply with all the provision of this regulation by 1st July 2018. So, what are the different features? If the comply with the labeling requirement is there, organic product may carry a certification or quality assurance, there should be different type of logo is there and there will be different type of rule, how much insecticide may be 5 percent of the maximum level which be allowed. So, whenever we maintain different type of these type of standards and regulation, then only we can compete in the international market, we can sell our produce in the international with very high premium price. So, Joybik Bharat logo, it is if you see it is encircle the circle O, O this is mean hol holistic in nature, the green link represent the nature green, second leaf in the form of a tick mark, if you see tick mark it means FSSI has certified the product. So, and that is the green color, green color always symbolizes the sustainable agriculture and human health. So, this is the logo of the Jovik Bharat and if we see, we have also initiated different type of this type of portal in our system that is Indian Organic Integrated Database portal is there, where you can go what is the different type of quality assurance, what is the organic food products may be searched by the name and we have also one link is there and any person can go through the link and go know different types of organic regulation is there. They also relax a certification process for some small organic farmers, because small organic farmer cannot reach and there is some relaxation they have given and they have given relaxation with up to turnover of 12 lakh to April this. So, and they have according to this regulation you can sell your market to outside India by the NPOP regulation, otherwise you have to sell your market within India with the help of the certification of the PGS. So, this is one to tell. Whenever you are producing different types of things in organic farming, you have to always measure for your quality because only consumer is very much ready to pay the higher price, only the quality will be assured. So, always a farmers or entrepreneurs have to take care 
how to maintain the quality food. Whenever if the quality is maintained, there will be packaging is very good and there will be certification and ultimately will the get logo and then only he will get a very good price and for this branding and trust is very much important. By this way, by this differently growing organic products in a holistic approach with standard rules and protocols and the certification, there is enough chance to get the international market to the international market and farmers as well as our entrepreneurs get a very good income. Thank you.